ready to date TRM review day. I have done a little research online and I have realized that this bag is becoming more and more popular since it was first introduced about two years ago. And uh, who knows, maybe it's becoming one of the classic bags out. It comes in this beautiful Dior box and the authenticity card. Of course, if you buy a Dior product, you want the whole package, if you know what I mean. The receipt comes in this box here. Even the receipt is a work of art. Here you can see the 30 Avenue Montaigne Boutique in Paris, which is a lovely, lovely store. If you ever go to Paris, uh, I guess it's worth a visit. Diorama has a minimalistic and elegant look, a fact that classifies it as a unisex bag. There are many materials used and therefore there are many options to choose from. The calfskin leather, which is durable and suitable mostly for casual wear. The exotic leather, which is more unique, but it's so expensive and out of my price range. And finally, the metallic color, which is less prone to color transfer, and I believe that it upgrades the silhouette of the bag, since it adds a little bit of extraterrestrial vibe to it. Since I'm cheesy, I went for the metallic option one, which I believe has a more feminine vibe to it, don't you think? The most popular sizes are the small one, which is so cute, don't you think? And of course, the medium one. I decided to buy the medium one, because I wanted to fit my everyday essentials. I went for the metallic Doré Eben color, as the description suggests, which is practically a combination of gold and uh, metallic brown color. The bag is characterized by a ombre effect, which is very edgy and uh, very unique. I mean, if you buy such an expensive bag, you want it to be unique and uh, original, no? I really love how the champagne color transforms into a dark brown, almost black metallic color. The bag is characterized by the canage motif. In other words, the signature motif of Christian Dior. As the sales assistant kindly explained to me, the Kangas pattern was inspired by the back part of the chairs used at Dior Boutique in the 50s and it has become one of the most recognizable trademark of Dior accessories ever since. The bag's basic motif is the magnification of the canage pattern, as you can see here. This is the bigger version of the canage stitching, if you know what I mean. On the contrary, the closer is a miniature version of the canage stitching. This is the pattern of the canage uh, craftsmanship. The craftsmanship is excellent and of superior quality and I believe that each part of the stitching is shown by hand. If you haven't seen the video on how the diorama bag is made, I suggest that you go and watch it. I will link it in the description box below if you want to see it. I think it's worth to have a look. Let's have a close look at the interior of the bag now. You open the bag by pressing this button here which has also a very pleasant sound. I really love the fact that uh, the interior of the bag is completely made by calfskin leather. At the back part of the bag there is the Christian Dior Paris inscription. There is a back pocket with a closure. As you can see the interior is made 100% of leather 
and there is also a front pocket here. Ok, let's talk about the shoulder strap now. Basically, the shoulder strap is a combination of chain and leather. As you can see here, the chain is very elegant and very unique. There are some holes for the chain. My guess is because they wanted to, the bag to be not very heavy or to make it look more casual. And there is also the Christia Dior initials on the chain. As you can see here. And the leather part of the chain is characterized again by the micro canage pattern, as you can see here. Overall, this is a very useful bag because it's not heavy, it's about 800 uh, grams, so it's not a heavy bag and it's suitable for formal or casual wear because of its unisex structure. The medium size is 25 cm long and 17 cm tall. I'm sure that many of you would like to know what fits inside the bag. Let me show you what I carry on a daily basis. My iPad mini. My sunglasses. My perfume. My lipstick. My powder. My wallet. And some chewing gum. And there is still space for more. Finally, I've included some modeling shots for your reference. I mostly use Diorama as a crossbody bag. However, it also looks fabulous as a shoulder bag, don't you think? For your reference, I'm 173 cm tall. The strap is approximately 56 cm and it is easily adjustable. Therefore, you can also wear it like so for a more elegant and sophisticated look. Okay, I guess that was it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked my review you can thumbs up and subscribe because I make uh, reviews every week. So I guess see you next week.